hi lovely thank you once again for clicking on my video i hope you all are doing perfectly fine today i'm here to share with you this simple and yet delicious banana puff puff recipe with you all now see how soft this puff puff looks right now the outside looks very crunchy and for the inside super super soft you are definitely going to love this recipe so let's get started so to a bowl i will go ahead and add in my two cups of all purpose flour and i'll be needing my four medium sized bananas and i'll blend until i get a smooth paste just like this okay you can as well use a potato masher or a fork to mash your banana to get a very smooth or a rough paste okay it works perfectly fine moving forward i will add in salt to taste sugar I will also need my vanilla essence, use any flavor at all of your choice, okay? I added in my instant yeast and my fresh whole milk. Now, I will mix everything together and I will add in my water little by little until I reach the consistency that I'm looking for. Remember not to add in too much water because if you don't have flour or extra flour, it's going to create problem for you and we don't want that okay and so now this is the consistency that i'll be going for so i'm going to cover this dough to rest for about 30 minutes since i'm using instant yeast 30 minutes should be okay for me all right And so after extra 30 more minutes the dough has doubled in size very well so at this point i'm going to wax it a little bit to reduce the air in it then i will go ahead and fry my yummylicious banana puff puff and so today i'll be using the catch and throw method this method of frying puff puff is my favorite because it always makes my puff puff looks very very smooth okay so now let's heat up some oil and make sure the oil is very hot before you go in with your puff puff because we don't want the puff puff to soak the oil so i'm testing if the oil is hot enough for me to drop in my puff puff and it's all ready so i'll begin by dropping in my puff puff fry until everything turns into the perfect golden brown color that i am looking for and so at this point if you haven't liked my video yet baby what are you waiting for kindly do like my video and why you liking don't forget to subscribe as well turn on the post notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be among the first person to be notified thank you so much for doing that And to my lovely subscribers and new foodie members right here, you guys are too much. High five to everyone. Thank you for liking my video, sharing and commenting on my videos. Fam, I am truly grateful. Thank you so much for your support. Alright, so after frying the puff puff, look how beautiful it turned out and for the taste it was super delicious so tell me why you don't want to make banana puff puff recipe you are going to love it so now let's repeat this process until we are done frying everything all right so after frying the second batch of this banana puff puff this is how it turned out do you see that beautiful smoothness on the puff puff this is because we use the catch and throw method if you use any other method apart from this the chances of getting this smoothness is not too much okay so if you want to learn this trick why not go ahead and you are definitely going to be perfect on this one okay thank you so much for watching this video to this point and if you enjoy till this point that means you are a proud foodie member if you haven't subscribed kindly do subscribe and be part of this beautiful family now see how the inside of this puff puff looks very soft 
and the outside looks very crunchy and for the taste it was super delicious kindly try this recipe and thank me later thank you for watching